drama horror isn't really quite accurate, but we can dive into that later. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Disaster Minds Podcast. I'm Micah. I'm Joel. I'm Will. I'm Noah. And we're here to uh, just really dive into a great movie that we all just watched it was, together. Yeah, I mean, like, Oscars. I just I just smelled Oscars. Oh, like, yeah. Yes, there were a lot of guys named Oscar there <laughs> when we watched it. We could definitely smell them. Oh, yes, yeah. they were very, yeah. They, I don't it, think people named Oscar took showers. It was movie, but... movie night, the homeless shelter. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. you get what you get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, we should have known what we were getting into when we showed up, but it was still a surprise for all of us. I yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Mm, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> 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 all right. That, <laughs> oh, man. That leads us into the perfect segue, continuing on for the movie that we just watched. Yes. Um, I, I'm just going to give this one to Will. I'm just yeah. going to let him. So it's, uh, it's like one of those days where it's a Thursday night and you all just watch Old by M. Night Shyamalan. Yes. <laughs> We've all been there. Which M. Night Shyamalan is known for making like uh, all-time movies. Yes, indeed. All times. Uh, covering all, all spans right. of time. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, usually. <laughs> all ages. Yes. All, for, you could for bring the, the whole family to this fun one. Fun for the whole family. They yeah. might not remember it. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa won't. You, can only you might hope. not. Your you kids will hope. survive, maybe. Yeah. Um, so here we have um, Old, which is, I think, another attempt at something unique. I'll, like That's my generous way to put it is <laughs> from a broad scope, a generous way to do something unique. That's because very nice of you. M. Night Shyamalan is known for making movies that have some kind of twist um which is like everyone's like what's the Shyamalan twist gonna be like this we were expecting something oh yeah we knew the the whole time we were waiting we're like okay when are we getting to the twist right but here's the thing the premise of the movie is it's you're there's a group of people on a beach they age really fast when they're on the beach so here's your gimmick there's your problem they can't get off the beach how do they get off the beach right That's your premise. But we're going to go from the beginning. It starts. What do we see? Okay. First thing we see is a family on a charter bus taking them to the destination. The the destination to us is unknown. We have no idea. It's an island location. Yeah, it's remote here. You know, they're having fun. The the mom's on her phone. Dad's like, really? You know, that type of, you know, cliche action. That's what I saw. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and... You witnessed this in pretty blocky acting, I might say. You did. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've seen I've seen good acting in my life. I've seen bad acting in my life. And I've seen in my Shyamalan acting in my life. And uh, they're hold all... On, hold on, hold on. Hold Let's on. Not, like, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't so, trash all of M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, Shyamalan... He actually was the best okay. actor You're right. in the movie. You're yeah. right. You're so right. I, when, I said, when, I said, <laughs> when I said M. Night Shyamalan you mean acting, his movie. I, I meant I people who act in his movies. Um, no, that's also unfair because he's had like Mel Gibson. He's had Bruce Willis. Willis he's had... Okay, uh, okay. Let me yes. be even more specific since I have This to movie. <laughs> this movie. I've seen people acting in this movie old and I want my money back. Okay. Yes. And, and you want me. you <laughs> want Joel's money back. Yeah, so. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, um, so that's what I saw. Right, so I'm going to age this forward a little bit. Mm. We, oh. we get some, like, conflict with... We see that there's interpersonal conflict with the characters, right? And then, guys... Or the, the manager comes up to them. He's like, I'm going to recommend, like, you guys go to the beach. It's a secret beach. I don't recommend right. it to a lot of people. So they go... He's like, but you guys are special. I'm picking you. Yeah, right. some details happen between then and and previously, but... We're just going to take it to the beach because if I went into all that, right. there would be a while. Yeah. So you get there, and then here's your cast of characters. You've got got the pompous doctor. Yep. You've got the uh, like supermodel, like rich snob. Trophy wife. Trophy wife. Yep. Uh, old lady who's like the mother of the pompous doctor who's got a dog. Mm-hmm. Then you've got your four, your basic nuclear family. you got a mom, dad, son, daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, daughter's replacement. Daughter. Replacement, right? Right. Replacement. <laughs> 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 um and then you've got who else? The the mid sized sedan. That's mid sized yeah. sedan. That's <laughs> so yeah, no, tell, tell yeah, us tell about mid mid sized sedan. So mid sized sedan is a rapper, and you first are introduced to him. You have no idea who he is, but you see him sitting against the wall in a really cool shirt. And then he's fifty percent of his lines are him no. going. Wait, damn. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's spot on. That's all you need to know. But he you says first that see him with some random chick who yeah. like uh, yeah. who decides to go swimming 
um, ass naked. Ass naked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But like, but also he doesn't want to go. I guess he's maybe he doesn't like to swim. I don't, we don't know. We don't well, judge. It's fine. He's yeah. a guy. For, he's like I'll, I'll watch. I can't. I never yeah. learned to swim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His so, name is Mid Size to Dan. So he's you already he's already there before the rest of the people come. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Because that really awkward scene where she like takes off her robe, walks, and then he's just against the wall like. Just kind of rubbing his head. He's like, yeah. he's like, he's like I damn. don't know what this like, is, damn. but damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that all happens before everyone gets there. She goes off. We don't see her again. That's it. Well, Family shows yeah, up for a while. Well, for a while. <laughs> Alive again. Alive, yeah. <laughs> Family shows up. Uh, the, they're tipped off by something's weird because there's a dude over there who's calling himself mid-sized sedan. <laughs> alone, <laughs> alone, mind you. And then... Later, they're playing. Actually, hide-and-seek. no, they don't talk to him. The daughter's a fan of mid-sized sedan. She's like, oh my sedan. gosh, it's right. mid-sized She's sedan. She's an 11 year old who's a fan of mid-sized sedan, by the way. <laughs> she, th- she fires off some like song names, which I thought that was actually really funny. Just I the know. fact that's mid-sized sedan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how'd they come up and with that? And then, <laughs> and her, parents are like, her parents are like, yeah, I know we were foreign, but he's obviously a human being. Like, yeah, not a mid-sized sedan. He's not a car. <laughs> there is, so there is racial tension between. The doctor. doctor, the pompous doctor, who's like, I don't know, 50? Mm-hmm. Probably 50. Probably, in his, probably 50. early 50s. He's yeah, like probably. looking at mid-sized sedan. He's like, he is very standoffish. He does the like move his his umbrella over because he's like, oh, let's just go over here. But it's yeah. like clearly he. Right. He's like, it's a little dark over here. Right. Yeah. So he goes, yeah, a little dark. Mike. Um, <laughs> they move. What's the, what's the first thing that goes down? Yeah, Joel, take it from here. Well, the little boy, he's out swimming. Yeah. We're talking about, yeah, he's out swimming by himself over by the rocks. Mm-hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, a uh, body just floats up behind him. And, and like, the body, I mean, like, it's a blonde-headed woman. Like, it's very unlikely it's some of, one of the people he came with. So, like, yeah. you already know it's a dead. It's probably that woman from earlier. Right. Uh, yeah, sure enough, she's dead. He runs to the beach. He goes, gets his family, and freaks out. And, um, and mid-sized sedan hits us with a... Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and, and meanwhile, meanwhile, by the way, everyone's like, so I like I understand the concept of these these. Uh, it's supposed to be older people playing younger people, right? Like in like older bodies, like younger people in older bodies. Older. Wait, I'm sorry. Repeat that. It's supposed to be younger people in older bodies. Yes. Younger. Yes. Okay. So I correct. understand that's awkward, but like the acting is awkward. Like yeah. beyond beyond that, yeah. it's not just like oh, it's a six year old in a. 18 year old's body or something yeah. like that like he it, they, Adapting, they like they yeah. walk really weird they walk really strange all their lines are like like they Forced. bring they bring up random stories to tell other people at like the weirdest times like mm-hmm, you know yeah. about like their past lives like oh, oh i have a sister and she's this i i never talked to her yeah she's also a therapist she's, yeah. a, ther- she's a therapist <laughs> okay. I, haven't talked to her. She, I haven't talked to her in years did we ever find out what happened to that chick which she one? She's down and died on the beach. Which, oh, which yeah, one? Yeah, 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 I forgot about that. The the, the, the seizure, therapist. the seizure chick. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, she just yeah. straight up died. I forgot about that. She yeah, just yeah. she just had pool noodles and then she was toast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> death by pool noodles. Okay, so so far we we got to the point where uh, little boys finds finds dead body. Um, everyone freaks out. Kids start getting older at this point. Now the parents are realizing that their kids are looking older and more mature than they had originally. Right. Uh, bear in mind, uh, the the son originally was six, and then the the daughter was eleven. Eleven, and the other girl, the other girl was probably six also. The, yeah, the young, the other young. Oh yeah, because the the pompous doctor and his trophy wife had a kid as had well. Had a girl, mm-hmm. right. yeah, a, a little girl. Also, the mom is like very particular about how she wants her daughter to act. Like she yeah. wants her to be like that Instagram Print Instagram model, f- yeah. like daughter or yeah, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Guy's name is Midsize. <laughs> I can't get over that, man. That's it's, so funny. It is. I'm going to have to take a five minute break in conversation every every five minutes to talk about Midsize today. Not a five minute break, but just like a ten second yeah. recognition every five minutes. That's like unironically probably the smartest part of the movie. Just coming up with that name for oh, him. Right. It's yeah. Just yeah. gold. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay. Well, take it away. Where Even though you wouldn't listen to his music in a mid-sized After <laughs> thinking, of, thinking about where this would go, if we kept talking about uh, like each character, what happens with their death, I'm going to say no hope is introduced to the movie until the last 10 minutes. So imagine the premise. What could happen? What could possibly happen? They're getting older. 
everyone just gets older till the last 10 minutes of the movie when someone says we should try to solve this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but but like but there's like but first let's build a sand they, castle. and actually yeah. you know i i actually think it's funny i was looking this up and on imdb it says like the writers were and my Shyamalan and these two other people who are noted for writing it's based off the graphic novel that they wrote called sandcastle so if they threw that in simply because the graphic novel's name is Sandcastle. I don't know what. what I think that might have been why in the, no. in the end, the beginning of the end uh, credits when they're doing the produced by, directed by, I think on the, it did produce, I wouldn't have wanted my name there. I wouldn't directed have wanted my name by, there. I believe it, it had a snippet of castle, like cut off at the D. Okay. And in text. Yeah. So that might have been the uh, clarification there. I was like, why would they put so that in words? It was such an insignificant uh, insignificant part of the yeah, story. Yeah, so at the very end, they're like, hey, should we? Or like, they're like, so the girl's like, so we probably have about 13 hours left, right? Because they were the two, they were the, the main two, the 11-year-old girl and the six-year-old, the siblings, the boy. And like, and they go, hey, should we still, should we even bother, like, trying to get, find a way out of here? Like, every attempt that people have had to get out of here, they've passed out and died or whatever, you know, from trying to escape. Yeah. And they're like, should we even try? And, and they're like, yeah. And, and, then, and then they're like, you want to build a sandcastle, though, first? Yeah. Well, okay. I, I don't. Uh, after, so I'm, I'm looking at, obviously, like, practically, that's a dumb, and I'm not, and in, in no way am I defending this movie. No, I would like I would like someone to defend it. Okay, then then this this let this statement defend it. <laughs> redeem to redeem a factor. I just, I just don't want my last two hours to have gone been a waste. No, no, no. So oh, they were. So they, here they you've got were. you've got a, a I guess I'm gonna say a failed attempt at a comic book to movie adaptation. Graphic novel. Graphic novel to movie adaptation, and the Sandcast. I think uh, I think they have one last ditch effort to reconcile the significance of the sandcastle with the movie since i don't think it was too too prominent of a symbol to begin with because a sandcastle if you break it down could not stand the test of time you make a sandcastle it'll be gone in a right day. right the tides the, would come the, the lifespan of a yeah. sandcastle is basically these people yeah um as far as like imagery well we can get we can get to the hope they pass the hope, then we get the real reason why all of this is happening. And that can, I guess, shine some semblance of, um, I'm going to say purpose on the sandcastle. Mm -hmm. Because you've got people with, each of these people who's on the island, it's revealed, has terminal illness, some kind of terminal illness. And there's there are people running tests on them. Now, if you have a terminal illness, it takes time to research it. So these people put them on this place which is it's an anomaly that time is passing very fast so these yeah. scientists have taken advantage of it right yeah. so to solve, is, yeah to help with the medical right part. so to the listener they're basically speeding up these people's terminal illnesses so that they can observe what happens over time and what seemed like a small detail the woman like this is the only redeeming quality of the movie if you ask me um because i noticed we were all sucked in at the very la the end of it we were thinking or at least i was thinking um, huh, if I was in this situation, like, is this ethical? What would I do? I'm in an ethics class right now in college. It's not ethical. Oh, I, mean, no, yeah. it's <laughs> not ethical. I promise you that. I think it depends on, on who the the believer of the ethics is right. when you break down, like, the... Right, the, because you're saving millions. It's like, the, yeah. it's the argument, millions of lives versus one life. Yeah, and some, yeah. Pe some people subscribe to that. So And this was the 73rd... Trial. Trial yes. of people going to the island and dying. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, very rapidly. Yeah. Yeah, so... But also, I want to add that not everyone who was on that island that day had a terminal illness. It was only yeah, there was some. It was only a person in the group uh, mm -hmm. of, of each group. Yes. So like those children were innocent. No, that's this. not necessarily true. Yeah, because no, the what, only death, death and illness, Michael. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the the pompous doctor had dementia. Okay. His wife had a calcium deficiency. Um, the husband. Oh, I guess he the, kids, the kids didn't the get kids drink. Didn't have Yeah, but he said it was just one particular person. It was multiple. Per, no, okay, per, okay, per group. No, he said per, sorry, uh, per group. I, I, did, I said per group. Yeah. You're right. There were multiple in certain groups, but the children were not a part of no, this yeah. oh. whatsoever. So they're innocent of, right. of any you know consequences. That's fair. You know, you're absolutely right. And that brings me to a point that I wanted to say. Like, you know, I understand. So one thing that is disclosed in the movie is that uh, the mom, because the dad, you know, he's always trying to ask the, the mom, 
um, where'd you, how'd you find out about this place? Where'd you come across it? And she goes, oh, well, oh, I went to our pharmacy and when I picked up our prescriptions, they then gave me a survey on the receipt that then led me to this link and yada, yada, yada. And like, oh, you have our medical history. So, um, no one really went, I mean, you could say they went there willingly because they told, you know, like, oh, I'm going to go on, um, a little sabbatical, a little vacation. Right. But they were misled, obviously. Yeah. Um, but my, my one question is, did they ever go up to a person who's like, Hey, you're, you have, you know, eternal brain cancer. You're going to die in five years. We might have a way to save you or save millions of other people who are going to have the same disease. Right. They do that. They do that all the time. No, no. In, no, in no, actual no. medicine. They're like, I Hey, know. we have a trial. And you can try it at your own risk. In actual medicine. But I'm talking about this movie and you're like, yeah. that's one thing they never talked about. And they even, they did brush lightly over the fact that like, you know, what we're doing, they kind of like slide like, Oh, we're not very ethical. But, you know, we're saving millions and of lives. And they're aware of it. Yeah. But can, I, can I actually say something really quick, like, outside of the medicine, just about, like, um, something that I observed from the movie that I think is very telling? Sure. Is that M. Night Shyamalan is in the movie. He makes a cameo. And he's... Probably the, his biggest cameo. Probably, I mean. probably, yeah. yeah. He's, like, he actually... He's in the beginning a little bit. He drives him to the beach. He's at the end. He is observing them on the beach. Um, he tells everyone back at the, at the, like, at the medical center that... that uh, the two children who are trying to get es escape, they swim through the coral, but they're stuck under there for a really long time due to very stupid reasons. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, hey, I've been watching for like a minute and 30 seconds. Like, they're dead. Yeah. So, like, he packs up all of his stuff and leaves without uh, seeing the, the children surface from the water. And we see that at the very end. Right. But, like, what, we, what I learned from that movie... I think applies to his character, but also to M. Night Shyamalan. It's that he's very bad at his job. <laughs> like, uh, he's a director of movies, and that was the shittiest movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, so, I, you know, that's just something I observe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think we can all agree. Life imitates art, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Very true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I actually I really like signs. I really like signs. Yeah, I, I, I no, like. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think this conversation is to say that all M Night Shyamalan movies, despite what I said earlier, which I retract, are bad movies. There are we, right. we talk about, but very, most you can say most. Most, yeah, but there are a handful of notable good ones. Signs, but he keeps trying. And you know what? That uh, props to that. He doesn't yeah. just give up because everyone's like, "You're horrible, stop." Yeah, you know, he's like he's like keeps going. Yeah, if he made another M, if he made another movie, I almost called. If, if he made another M. Night Shyamalan movie. If he huh. made another movie, we would watch it. Oh, because yeah. we watched this. Okay, oh, yeah. but we watched... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you we know what? You're right. Yeah, we we watched it. We <laughs> All right. Um, so, let's try and break this down a little bit more. Yeah. So, think? so yeah. we've kind of like... That was that was a big blaze through the story. Mm -hmm. um, there are certainly more details in there, but if we dove into each one it would we could make a whole separate can podcast I, can i ask real quickly what 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 is no what was your favorite moment of the movie my favorite like, moment of the I'm, movie i'm saying you can say like your favorite moment is either like the best moment or the moment that you thought was the most hilarious or you know <laughs> oh okay like, yeah well so it doesn't from, to, I, I don't mean the actual best movie, right but okay. i mean like what was your biggest takeaway from the movie well aside from my favorite part is probably who are you and he goes Mid-sized sedan. That's probably my favorite part. Um, like but he's I, traumatized too. He's like, it was after something happened. He's like, a mid-sized sedan. Well, I love, I love how like seriously he took his name. Yeah, yeah. like he never admitted. I'm not, it's not Brandon. Yeah, mid-sized sedan. Yeah, yeah, he never admitted. Well, okay, my, he, my, my, I'm, I'm Brandon, but I go by. He's just like, oh, a mid-sized sedan. We well, told it to the girl. Yeah, later on, yeah, later but like on. in the moment, the eleven-year-old girl who looks sixteen. Yeah. She started talking to him about like grooming. <laughs> yeah, she was like, she was like, I had these colors the other day, and he's like, what the hell are you talking? about? <laughs> she comes up to him, he's like, hey, can you sign my CD? And he's like, damn, what's a CD? What's <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, sorry, back to Noah. Yeah, sorry, dude. Favorite? Good. No, I mean, apart from that, it's another hilarious part because I mean. Like we've established, the movie wasn't very good. Um, Have we? I like. Yeah, I think so. I like, what was the What was the little girl's name? Kara. Yeah. When yeah. She was, I like when she was climbing the rocks. Oh my and, gosh. Um, Trent tried to follow her up, and de the dad's like, "Stop! It's not the way." Yeah. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? It's like, it's not what we do. It's not. We what don't we climb do. rocks. What do we do here? We don't know. Yet. And that, we like, don't. 
Like we don't. Oh, so by the way, his his parents, Trent, you said his name? Yeah. yeah. His parents were going through like a rough patch, and like the yeah. mom was having an affair or something. So like, so like maybe what he meant by that is no, we don't chase after the ones we love. Like, Ooh. You know, I, I, don't, Ooh. I don't know. Maybe Mike drop. I, also, Joel. I don't know what that generic European accent was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be yeah. Italian. But me and Will were talking about before the, we start recording. It's just like. Why did he, the son, he and the daughter, they spoke like Americans the whole movie. Then when they're old, they get that generic European right, accent. Right. It's like you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> accents yeah. are biological. You don't grow them. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, That's yeah. a great question. I have no I don't idea. Know. Yeah, those are my takeaways. Seeing that was it really okay, obvious. Micah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Um, okay, I think for me, the best part was the random, like, in like Shyamalan was trying to put, like, little, like, um, alluding to things in the future. So, like, right when they get to the beach, the dad looks all kids and goes, look, look at that cor- the coral over there. And then it just immediately goes away. And yeah. Like, that was no, weird. no, he, he makes a point. Yeah, when they first get there, he goes, he makes a point. He's over there with the, on the beach with his yeah. wife, so, but the kids went up in the water. He just goes, "Mate, make sure you look at that coral. Yeah. He, it's <laughs> no, like, it's he, like, like, he, like, he very <laughs> obviously wants them to look it's at like, it. This beach is sponsored by coral. I know. Like, and, like, the kids didn't care less because they're 6 and 11, and yeah. then we find out that's the way out. So like, oh, a little... Yeah, but it's like, the shot. dad didn't know that. Yeah, no one knew that, right? He just wanted them to look at yeah. coral. And then... Like, uh, what? How could he even see it? I know, right? <laughs> like, yeah, oh, can you guys see anything more beautiful than coral? <laughs> Oh, maybe I the, doubt it. The We're on the beach. Ocean. <laughs> These beautiful cliffs and Damn. the blue sky, the ocean. <laughs> Look at the coral, kids. I don't know what. Like um, the other part for me throughout the like another running thing throughout the movie was when they would transition to the kids being older. Like they would, he he did the camera work to like keep that a secret right. for you for as long as yeah. possible. It was like he was trying to keep us on the edge of. Our we should seats. probably watch it over again and see if there's like footprints in the sand, like oh. Actors running out and actors running back. <laughs> it was so <laughs> wild. And then, like, they would do the big reveal, and we would just be like, oh, oh, they're older now. Okay. Oh, yeah, but we already heard their voice. So yeah, we, knew we already that they were knew. And, then, and we saw the trailer for this yeah. movie. Like, and then the a parents year, would two show years up ago. and act like it was a big surprise. And then they would, like, be too scared to touch each other. But then, it was, and so that was for me, that was just really funny because it's like, I don't think that's how I would react at all. But, to no, no, was, yeah. But. Yeah. Okay. What about for you? Will. Will. What, Will? what was so your Joel say? If I'm being, if I'm being for real, um, when I like going into an M Night Shyamalan movie, I do, I do turn on the like, the like filmmaker thing where it's like, okay, what, what subtle because images? you wish a filmmaker would have been in charge of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think of like, okay, what, what are some spots that like, oh, so you gotta, you gotta catch it and then like analyze that small glimpse of something's meaning and we talked about or something i called out in the beginning of the movie when you pull up when they pull up to the resort the sign is obscured it says anna like a n a and it's blocked by leaves and then they show up at the resort and it's revealed that the like when they're going to the room anna mika resort right so i was like okay what's the significance of that so i looked it up anna mika is a name originating from india i'm not shaman and is primarily given as a name to girls. The meaning of Anamika is anonymous. This oh. name translates to a child's destiny is not determined by the meaning of their name. It means the ring finger or nameless finger in Sanskrit. So not only that translating to the ring finger and them having like marital problems mm-hmm. throughout the movie. Um, but I finally go back to IMDU. What was the girl's name? So the girl's, what's it say? Maddox. The Maddox. So, you know, you look up the significance of Maddox. And I'm going to get back to you on that. But I like the rabbit holes that those things can bring you down. So favorite part of the movie, if I'm looking for something cool, is like, okay, there's still elements of the movie that you can dive down and see. Like, okay, this is what he was going for in terms of message, if any. Right. You know? um, but other than that, I've got to side with mid-size sedan. That's, <laughs> that's pretty damn. damn. That's, that's such that's a funny. Damn. That was great. That's mid-size sedan. You know, cooking with Bamba? Like, they're like... <laughs> hey, 
just did. Those were matter. some fire albums. Yeah, dude, that yeah. He released I, best I, days of my life. I know. Right? <laughs> Don't you guys remember? Right? It reminds me of sitting out on the beach <laughs> <laughs> with, 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 with your drink and Miss has the dance is bumping in the background. <laughs> yeah. Man, takes remember me that back. part when you get stabbed vigorously over and over again, and by somehow the, the wounds don't heal themselves yeah. anymore. Yeah, but yeah. they do it every other time. Everyone, yeah, they ripped a tumor. They ripped. Uh, uh, they had to hold her. Uh, yeah, pry her, her open, open wound and apart, rip out a tumor the size of a grapefruit, a cantaloupe actually at this point, Bowling from ball. her body. And it just miraculously healed. Yeah, itself. it was like it, it was a golf ball to a bowling ball within like a minute. Yeah. Well, later he's stabbing the parents and it heals right away. But when midsize sedan no, is getting it, no, he's slashing the parents. Oh, tree is slashing, stabbing, not stabbing. He's stabbing midsize sedan. But and uh, you know, I would say that's a that's a rapper death. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but no. getting murked up in a beach. Yeah. <laughs> by by a wealthy rich white. Man. I really yeah. wish he just kind of <laughs> coughed up some blood. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> like one last damn. Yeah. It would have been he probably said it like at least eight times. Oh, if not oh, more. Oh, yeah. he, was in, he was in a quarter, a third of the movie, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, not a lot. Yeah, so but, like eight times in like maybe a quarter of the movie right. is a lot. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Which, that's why it was just, one, he was one of the best movie, like parts of the movie. Oh, for yeah. sure. He carried the movie, honestly. I, I, would, I would have to say, for me personally, my favorite part, and I, and it goes back to just the random dialogue that the characters have, and I'll give I'll give three I'll give three examples. Like one, so there's the one we talked about the the woman who is uh, who has epilepsy and gets seizures. Um, she she just she her husband is gone, and she she no I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to that I'm gonna get to that. Uh, her husband is gone, and she. Uh, has these floaties and she's like, we gotta, we gotta swim out of here. Like, I'm gonna use these floaties to get out of here. Uh, I have a sister. She's a therapist. Uh, we had a fight and I haven't gotten to talk to her since. And I don't want to leave it like that. And and you know, you're just sitting there like, okay, uh, okay yeah, all right. <laughs> what does this matter? Like, I yeah, go. Like, tell me why I should take care. the floaties and try it. That's not a bad idea. But I don't know why you're giving me this backstory. I know nothing about you. And now you tell me about your sister's therapist. Anyway, so that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, secondly. There was uh, the uh, vain model uh, who she's just randomly crying on the beach after her husband told her to put some makeup on, and she's very uh, self-conscious about this now because she's been crying and, she, and her you know mascara is like all over the place, and she's just sitting there. She's like, I I I loved a dude once and I left him because he was too ugly, <laughs> and and um, I think about that a lot. And like that, that's pretty much that sums yeah. up almost exactly what she but said. Then, but then like, she then then she yells at the little girl, "Leave me alone!" and like makes her run off. And is like, right, right. Why? So she tells her that yeah. she gets like real personal. Gives her a really deep and then she says, "Get out of here!" And and also she did, like that's literally like almost word for word what she said. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like he was In too ugly. The I let he, didn't, I left he him. didn't have a lot to offer. He didn't have a lot yeah. to offer, and that's why I left and him. And I think so much. about that a lot. Yeah. yeah, she said that. And then that's like again, that's her only like character development. So, anyways, that's great. I, then lastly, okay, you got it. There was the uh, nurse okay. who was who yeah. was married who was married to the therapist. The the yeah, the, she's the therapist. She was also she, therapist. She was the epileptic. Yes, and and she, uh, he, you know, they're trying to find ways to get out, and like they try going back through the like past that they came through, and they keep passing out and ending up back on the beach, and they don't know how to get there, and like they 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 thought like maybe we climb. I don't know. We need to find another way out. And he goes, you know, they're halfway through the movie. And they've already tried all these ways to escape. Yep. And he goes, wait, 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 back it up. You have to sit, tell them that he, they all suggested swimming. swimming. They first. suggested swimming. He like, uh, uh, way back. Yeah, yeah, so way back. And here's the random part is he goes, oh, that's the part about a uh, hundred laps of a pool. I'm just guessing. Um, but then you have to make a turn and who yeah, knows in the crazy in the be. crazy waves yeah. and all this stuff. So, and that's just like a really random knowledge that we don't know he has. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. So like they already talked about this in the beginning, like they're different escape plans. So then halfway through the movie, like it comes back to him and he's on the beach, like he's getting ready to go out in the water and he's like he's like, I gotta I gotta try to make it. Like I was on the swim team. <laughs> And this is the like, equivalent of like, like 20 years later. This yeah. is like, like he aged like physically 20 years. And this has been like an hour or two, but it's but it's maybe more than an hour or two, but like it's halfway through the movie. Mm -hmm. And like they've already tried to escape multiple times. Yeah. Someone's had a someone has a I think three a six year old died. A six year old has had sex with another six year old and has had a baby. And had a baby <laughs> who died. Who died in the span and turned to ash. And and turned to ash in the span of this man 
didn't like not swimming to then saying he was on the swim team and yeah. trying to make a break for it. I don't know. I think I think those character development, those strong character developments, yeah. those are my favorite parts. Yeah, I actually, I, I want to. I just found this quote from M Night Shyamalan based on this movie. I just want to read to you guys real quick. Uh, so when asked to work on this movie, which is um, ad- adapted from Sandcastle, he he says. The book gave me the opportunity to work through a lot of anxieties I had around death and aging and things like my parents getting older. So that gives us just, I think, enough insight into his psyche and what he was thinking with, with his movie. Um, Sorry, I'm not... Yeah. I, think... I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was great. Best movie. No, uh, uh, I was looking into it. I looked into oh, yeah. I dove more into it. Um, to save to save some face, yeah. While you're while you're tearing down the sandcastle, I'm gonna build a new one over here. Um, <laughs> the, so Trent. Hey, I didn't tear down time. Tore it down. You're right. You're right. But while well, setting I'm not, up I'm not that the bully on the beach who kicks sandcastles. I'm gonna build this sandcastle really close to the rocks. <laughs> so Trent translates to the flutter, oh. and it's associates. It's generally associated with the River Trent in Britain, and Maddox is like years of like uh, development from Maddox or Maddox who is legendary Welsh figure said to have sailed to the new world 300 years before Columbus. So both of these people who survived found their salvation in the water. Someone who's named after a sailor who sailed to a new world um, and someone who's named after a river. Yeah. So wow. I think, and there's a lot of hmm. significance in names anytime no, someone's really making it. Is. So I thought that was, you know, Hey, look at that. Mm-hmm. That's really a coherent detail. Yeah. It's probably the most like Damn. <laughs> <laughs> probably the most interesting part of the you know, movie if can, you really break it down that way. So can I say can I say something else real quick about sure. it? Like No. Okay. Actually, yeah, you um, know what? I'm done. You're done. Joel, That's you know, it. You've said enough. Okay. You're done. That's fair. All yeah. right. Okay, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Oh, <laughs> so okay, okay. so when, when they first get to the resort, the son meets this other little boy who lives at the resort mm-hmm. and his uncle is the guy who runs the experiments on the island. And so far, you are correct. Okay. They, so, like, the, the little boy's like, I don't have any friends, like, because everyone always, always leaves. And probably the reason by that is because his uncle sends them off to this part of the island where they age their whole life and die on this beach. That can't be it, but go ahead. It might be. But uh, anyways, so the two kids, the two boys become pretty close friends, and they make up their own language. Well, it's an alphabet. They, they create their own alphabet, like, lettering. Yeah, their own code. Yeah, their own little code that they have to decipher. So at the end of the movie, uh, the boy just decides... He's a, he's a 50-year-old man at this point, and he just decides that he's going to go grab this paper. I don't know why. And, th- and it's really quick, so I'm not sure if what happened was he went over there and deciphered the note. Oh, or, wait. Or if the note was already deciphered. No, but, no, he brought it back and deciphered it. Imagine they, they don't show that. No, no, he, no he, goes, he goes back, he deciphers it they're gonna take off and he says wait let me go get something that's when he goes and later reveals to the kid that he has it in a plastic bag he was going to get it to show the kid like hey i got your man oh no that, that's no, not no, what joe's no, talking no, no. about though he got the he got the notebook for the cop with yes, all the missing the names yes cop, that's it but that's he it. had a note in it that was already deciphered no no i don't think it was i don't think it was because he, he said we haven't what did he thought i never deciphered it yeah like, and the girl oh, okay. says okay okay see that's what i that's what i was missing but like the point is the note says, my my uncle doesn't like the coral. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how they get out. And that's in with 10 minutes left in the movie. They never even looked at the coral. They, but look, yeah. what if he didn't have the thing that says what all the letters are? They would have been screwed right. and the yeah. movie would have ended. <laughs> they would have died. They, they, they just would have kept trying to run back to the past. Crap, and crap I wonder what that says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like, I wonder what that says. Hey, you want to go swim out by the coral? <laughs> oh, my, my, my uncle hates thought. the corn. Oh, Better yeah, stay away too. from the corn on I hate the corn, too. Oh, man. Let's keep building sandcastles. I don't know. It was a great movie. That's all I have to say. I loved it. And I okay, it you know like... what? Actually, during the movie, um, during the scene when... Um, I mean, this whole thing has been a spoiler, so I'm sorry if we tell you guys that you, know, you haven't heard yet before you're going to... Um, I can, hope... Let's hey, put spoiler what, warning in the, in the description. Here's what I, will, I, will, I will. Here's what I hope. I, my hope is that nobody watches this movie. Well, maybe we can save them from that fate. But it was actually... It was a little more than halfway through the movie is when the, um, the pompous doctor is um being is dying i'm not gonna give away how he dies he gets stabbed no he gets sliced <laughs> and he gets rust in him Way to not give it away um 
But as he's dying, and I will admit, it was the longest death I've seen in a movie in a long time. Yeah. It took a sec. I'm the entire time I'm watching him die, I'm going, Why ever want to rewatch this movie? And the answer is I don't think I could ever bring myself to want to go through that again. You, I, do would anyone else want to do that? Why did you ask yourself that question? That, I was, feel a, like that was a waste of time. I, I, well, I, no, <laughs> it, was, it was a better it was a better use of my time than watching him die, I think. Because that was if you like stepped away and evaluated with yeah. your time, come back while he's about to exactly. fully die. No, so he started dying. I mentally checked out for like thirty seconds and thought to myself, "Wow, what am I doing with my life?" And I went, "Would I ever watch this movie again?" I thought, "No, probably not." I came back. I checked back in. Got still my luggage, still upright, and he was still dying. Yeah. And then he finally died. And then they just looked at his body for quite a while before they did anything else. So. And that and guy the caused camera a lot of damage. for a little bit there. Come again? The camera probably panned out like it did a million times. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell us about yeah. the panning. No, yeah, <clears throat> like a million times. It's like just the, the camera pans out, and you're like, I wonder if it's going to show me something important. And the answer is no every <laughs> single time it happens. <laughs> Because it comes unless, back unless just to where you're they really were. Into, unless you're into, really into geology and you like looking at the yeah, side of Yeah, it's like, oh, cool, rocks. some limestone. Let's go back to our <laughs> characters around a dead body. Like, come oh, on. Yeah. No, I think... And even that, like you see, you see people in, in horror movies attempt to do, um, well, there's two things you can either attempt to do like, a, oh, this is a really long scene that's done with one shot. And it's like noticeable that it was one shot. Like I think of Daredevil in season three, there's a whole, there's one shot of him getting in a, a scuffle in his prison. And then there's a prison, right? He breaks oh, out of the prison, yeah. whole prison, right? One shot. Yeah. Then you've got scenes like. Um, haunting of Hill House. Yes, tell me oh, about that scene. That was awesome. Tell me about that scene. The that scene whole episode in the when they're at the, they're the, funeral, the home, funeral home and they're spinning. Yeah, oh, and they're spinning well, that whole have thing. Have I told you a little one bit? One shot. Um, said, um, oh, excuse let's me. Get the word out, Micah. A little snippet of that is they actually shut down production on set for like three weeks because the director was like we're going to get this in one take. So he made them practice and practice mm -hmm. and practice. And then when he shot it, he just stood in the middle of them with a the camera, just spinning in a circle. For those of you who have not seen that show and that scene, what we're talking it's about. It's a fantastic show. Such a good show. Um, it is. The scene we're talking about is um, Hunting the Hill House. Is this real quick stop. It's about a family who uh, they the parents buy homes. They renovate them. They flip them. Yada, yada. A lot of haunting stuff goes on. It's like a couple years, many years later, the kids are adults. They're in a, a funeral home because someone is dead. One of one of the their sister, sisters. Yeah, sister sister is dead. dead. Yes, yeah. yes, the sister's dead, and they're having her funeral. And um, after her 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 wake, the the remaining siblings are surrounded in a circle, and they're in an argument. They're yelling at each other. They're accusing one another. They're they're blaming each other. But in and out of subtlety and just regular conversation too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. And then in the in the middle. The guy, the, the cameraman is just standing there spinning in a circle going over and over and over again while everyone is talking and you're, you're constantly hearing new dialogue, the, the things changing and it yeah. is... New relationship combinations come in. Like it, yes. it'll be like, it'll be like, this is like dad and this daughter, yep. dad and this daughter, dad and the son, son mm -hmm. and this daughter. Yep. And you're getting all of that, and that is a very well done example. Such of that. An and then they walk like when that whole yes. scene is done, they walk. They go and they down go the right aisle. into the house, and it's still the same shot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. it's Continuous. crazy. That was amazing. Beautiful scene. Yeah. Beautiful so scene. so you have attempts like that with this movie. I think if there was any attempt at like you've got a big conflict, a lot of continuous dialogue where they're going away and mm -hmm. coming back. It, it wasn't necessary, and it yeah. was quite honestly a bit of a headache. Yeah, it was yeah, a little it was. distracting. Yeah. Not necessarily motion blur. Yeah, yeah. Like, but one thing I mentioned early on um, with the mom, Priska, is she would like she would just say something really random, and then the camera would just cut just like that yeah. into the new scene. And like, why did she say that? Like, what's this, the significance behind yeah, that? She's like, and I can't was, believe I got this for so cheap. Yep. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, next day, I'm like, oh, hmm. Okay. Oh, it makes me think about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I wonder how she got it so know. cheap. Yeah, and it was very, very weird. But yeah. Um, I, I, also, I, I just want to. We all forgot to mention this, and you were mentioning mentioning horror. Um, so I thought I would rem, uh, remind everyone of the scene where the woman with calcium deficiency. Oh God! Just crumples, <laughs> breaks every bone in her body. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like freaking origami gone wrong. So, so, <laughs> so, so the kids, the two, the two kids who survive are trying to escape. Who are now like. In their They're 30s. probably in their thirties at yeah. this point. They go into the cave. She's goleming out over her looks, <laughs> right? She's like, she's like, 
why has she done this to me? You know, like, <laughs> why do I look like this? Like, yeah. And she's, like, freaking out in the corner. And she starts throwing rocks at, at the kids because she's I ugly. don't want to be the scene. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was perfect. That was exactly what she sounded like. Yeah. And then so she picks up this really heavy rock over her head. And her arm just snaps. Yeah. Like, or the, the weight of the rock, which didn't look that big. But, I mean, like, you know, she's... She was very brittle. Very, very yeah, brittle. Calcium deficiency. Yeah. And so then she has this broken arm. She starts chasing after the kids. And she makes a wrong turn. <laughs> well, she's just crawling on one right, arm, yeah. and the arm breaks. The ar- other arm fractures. So she starts, like, slapping everything, and her arms just keep crumpling up, and she looks like... Oh, I know what she looks like. Can I describe yeah, what she looks like? Yeah, describe what she looks like. Have you seen the scene in Breaking Bad where Jesse's showing his girlfriend's kid about science with the straw wrapper? And he, like, crumbles <laughs> no! it up. And he's like, science makes it do that, bitch. And you know, then... But... <laughs> <laughs> but it's like in reverse, where instead of it, it when you drop water on the right, straw right, wrapper, it, it expands. It, it she actually, went the opposite. Direction. I actually have a really good example of what she looked like. Also, uh, it's different, but uh, I don't know if you guys remember like Windows ninety eight or Windows XP, like the screensaver where all those pipes come through and they <laughs> oh, change the oh, 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 that's, that's what she looks like. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I, know exactly what you're talking. I used yeah. to watch that yeah, on my grandma's. I know. All the all those pipes moving around. Yeah. That's what she looked like. Like that's literally what she looked like. And I don't know why she was chasing after the kids. She also. I don't know why. Yeah. That, that's what I was gonna say that too. I like I, you were talking about it. I'm like. Wait a minute, why was she even after the kids? I don't and know. I do not because remember. Because they saw that she was hideous? Yeah. I was, I was she going to murder them And also, that? yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that because we we kind of forgot about that part. And that was a very pivotal part of it. You know what I will say? <laughs> like, there was a time where she went away and I forgot about her until forgot, she, yeah, she just, came out. And she was kind of level-headed at first. She was the most sane She was one kind of level-headed in until, that family. In that family. Yes, until she started getting ugly. and then, Until her husband triggered some, like, insecurity yeah. in her. And then it was like, and then it was just like from there. oh, no. no. Yeah. It was, oh. What, what is the current time we're running at? Because we, we have gone on, on this for nauseam. I think um, this would probably be a good way to segue to our next topic. Yeah, I think we should. We should probably move, give you guys a little break. Bring something more fun, some levity, yeah. some laughter. I'm sad thinking about my own mortality now. I'm gonna get old. Just I, like I'm, just, M. Night I'm sad thinking about was. M Night Shyamalan's parents getting older. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of sad. Yeah. That's rough. Well, you before want- we move on, <laughs> should we have one last communal damn? Yes. Yep. Three, two, one. Damn. damn. Perfect. I'm happy. <laughs> that was nice, boys. That was nice. That was, <laughs> that was for me and Sassy. That, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> Pour one out for my boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On to Bogs. 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 This, this Bogs. episode is now going to be a Star Wars edition. Ooh. Ooh. That's a pivot. The, mm-hmm. I was going to say the segue <laughs> from, from this, um, from old, is there is none. I would, I would I was say, I would say, yeah, you need to like live ten years of your life and then watch movies again. I know I that would be really the best trying, way to segue from old. I was really yep. trying to get one for you guys, but I just couldn't do it. Like I was like, well, what? can I talk about the, the consistency of movies? Like no, because these are shit sometimes. So, <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Here we go. First, first one. Oh, this is my favorite Very one. Oh, all right, boys. Sweet. Okay. I wonder who's going to come away with the high ground here. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, no, you don't underestimate qualify. my power. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known the, the Jedi were plotting to take over. I love that. I love the way he sounds during this. For the Spotify listener, it's Star Wars Episode 3. Revenge of the Sith. Thank you. Or the Apple Podcast listener. So or I, the I Google say, Podcast listener. We accept all. Fuck the Google Podcast. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, some laughs> podcast, you're joking. So uh, I just want to start this off. I'm going to go ahead and guess the date. Joel, you know what happens when you do this. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to guess it anyways. Okay, go for it. Okay, I'm going to guess March 25th, 2005. March 20... I know it was 2005, I just don't remember which month. I was getting confused between uh, 2005 and 2006 because when this movie came out, I lived in Seattle. Um, okay, thank and you. And it, it was like roughly that, that time, and I remember my parents being like... You know, that was I just... Know if you should watch. That was like as much context... As, as the characters in old. old. Anyways, but, we need to move on. Yeah, yes, I'm so We're sorry. Done. Um, <clears throat> May it march. Hey, the answer is up there. I'm so sorry. I don't I know didn't, how that Oh, happened. I just saw it right now. I was going to over... I was going to say whatever Joel yeah, said it, over by it. a day. What, I want to say, I wasn't even touching the keyboard, so I don't know how that happened. Um, you I was going to say May, but that doesn't really have a lot of credibility now. What did Noah say? I didn't say anything yet. Oh, then my bad. 
Then let's just scrap that. Let's point. just scrap that point. Scrap the point. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Oh yeah, I'll put on a score. I wasn't even touching the keyboard, but maybe I was. Have I ever told you guys my buddy worked on Hayden Christensen's sprinkler system at his house? Really? Oh yeah, he, he lives in comment. Canada. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Well, he just minute. um yeah, Hayden Christensen apparently lives in like Toronto area, and my buddy lives in Toronto area, and he worked yep. for a sprinkler system during college, nice. and uh, like during the summers, and he works on his house. And then I don't know if this is true. This guy sometimes said some bullshit that I don't know if it's true or not. But apparently he saw Cr- Hayden Christensen walking out one day just to check on the project. He's like, I have the high ground, and he's just like, yeah, whatever, kid. <laughs> you, know, you know what he should have done? He should have told him that the force is strong with these. <laughs> <laughs> the <Yes>. sprinklers. <laughs> yeah, because I'm right. sure Hayden Christensen never gets Star Wars <laughs> yeah, jokes. Yeah, he probably doesn't. What Brand else, you, what else are you supposed to do? Hey, I thought that the movie uh, Jumper was okay. Like, what, <laughs> <laughs> what, what else do you say? Back, back to the box. Back to the box. Back All right, box. let's do the budget. Um, I'm going to go with $5,000, roughly the size of a used mid-sized sedan <laughs> there you go rip all right what a guy that guess is for mid-sized sedan. <laughs> you say five thousand dollars <laughs> that's your answer that's not my for real mid-sized oh. sedan. <laughs> oh, you man. can get a used mid-sized sedan for like anywhere between a thousand and ten like this okay like, no what's your guess <laughs> i'm gonna say like like 70 million this was like groundbreaking cgi for the time right like it was a lot Okay, but but this was four years before Avatar, and Avatar was groundbreaking. That was like five hundred million dollar budget. So seventies low. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's That's low. what we're saying. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying oh, Avatar was only shoot. four years later, and they their budget was five hundred million. I'm not saying it was. That I don't know much. what to say. You want to see low? You know I guess do you want, five thousand. Do you want to change your answer? I uh, well, I mean after you that react. Have, I, I mean, I feel like I have to. T- I wouldn't have changed if I didn't get that reaction. I really don't know what I'm you're, talking you're about. Gonna, no, no, go okay. with your gut. Hey, go with your gut. You know what? Hey, you know what? You're probably spot on. You probably got it exactly right. And I'm like just. You know what? Of, they probably spent more on that in like just casting. That's. You know what? If you guys didn't say anything, I wouldn't have changed my answer. So I'm gonna stick with it. I feel like that's fair. Before you say anything, Joel. I'm not actually going with five thousand because duh. We understood that. Two hundred million. Okay, you. that's good. That's good. Damn it! Uh, I'm gonna say three. <laughs> I'm gonna say three hundred million. Uh, uh, this is uh, ridiculous. Uh, okay, here's the budget. The budget answer is. One hundred and thirteen million. Cool. Yeah, that's really surprising to me. One hundred and thirteen. And also, I, I do want to say though, I don't think the CG is that great in the movie. Like, it's, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's CGI right. dates it's, itself really fast, though. Dude, Lord of the Rings had already been out. But Lord of the Rings had, like, no CGI, didn't it? That's not true. Uh, no, it, it I thought it was a lot of, of natural. No, it's actually really impressive. Because well, it holds you don't, up you don't well. notice it. Like, yeah. that's, uh, well, the whole the movie car- is CGI for Star Wars, though, because it's easy to get quick. Right. Well, they had the Andy, whole movie, Andy like, they're in blue rooms. Like, yeah, yeah it, like there's not any real sets, like, yeah. the whole time. That was, that was a great guess. See, Andy I, told Circus, you, I, was, I told you I was just shitting on you, and you were going to be right. So. Andy Circus is the Nikola Tesla of, of motion cap. Like, he... You no, know, he's Nikola Tesla's assistant. Oh, okay. All right. We're not going to get into this. Love <laughs> the prestige. Let, yeah. Let's do opening weekend. Let's do opening he's literally, weekend. He's literally <laughs> Nikola Tesla's assistant. Oh, God. Damn it, guys. I'm glad I went with Nikola Tesla yeah, that for was, that comparison. That was good. That was good. Okay. Well, give us, give us the opening weekend. Opening weekend. Mmm. How? Oh. 80 million. 80 million. 80 million. 80 million. All right. Noah, I'm making Joel go last. 81 million. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say 150 million. Ooh. Okay. Opening weekend, 2005. Revenge of the Sith. Oh. 108 million. What did Joel say? 150. I 150. Went over. He went way over. over. And then you said I said 81. 81. So that was a bit That's greasy, Noah. but yeah, is that me? Still no. Still, still, yeah. <laughs> still, co- still counts. Yeah, so still I mean, counts. Close enough. That was up. So it's Will Joel zero Noah two. All right. Let's go, boys. My hand is so sweaty. Gross domestic. This is. Uh, I'm not going first. I'll go time. first. I've never gone first, so I'll go first. I'm gonna say 320 million. That's a good guess. I think. Hmm. That is that is a, like a spot. 320. I want to just barely over you, but I also want to like have an independent guess. So I'll say 350 million. Okay. So I was actually gonna guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say 360 million. Okay. Open. I'm sorry. Gross domestic. Three hundred eighty oh, million. Oh, Joel. Joel. Joel with the I was gonna there. go with three fifty. Also, that was so. so that w- those were good guesses, though. Like yeah, that's yeah. That's how you know that we had our brains in the correct spot. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have done this before. I'll have to do it again. Worldwide gross. I believe there's an asterisk 
because they have had um, multiple releases. releases. Of really? They re-released this one? I don't I remember like them. Not as many times as the other ones, though, so yeah. I don't think it'd be as yeah. big of a yeah. jump. So what I remember, well, I'll save that for myself. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. And Ooh, secret <laughs> intel. 500 million. If there's not an asterisk, guys, I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Either way, it doesn't really. It's not going to change. I'm much. thinking the asterisk, so I'm going to say Ooh, like. Ooh, it might not be this one. It's a, I'm going to say 810 million. See, I really think so. I'm pretty sure that this movie was like so. Avatar was the second billion dollar movie, but I'm pretty sure that the Star Wars ones got really close. So I'm gonna. You said 810. I said 810. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Eight hundred and thirty million dollars. Well, you said what again? I think I said five hundred or six. Five hundred. You said five hundred. Are we locking it in, boys? Yeah, locking it, it is. in. Worldwide. Eight hundred and sixty-eight. Oh, man, I was gonna guess. I was gonna guess like the same. Yeah, range. yeah, I know. We had on the same. Eight hundred and sixty-seven. And there is one. Joey, I, you're not that bad at this game. You guys are tied two, and I'm got zero. Still. All right, it's all right. There's still time. Still time. All right, it's only first box. We're, yeah, we're only on the first first, first one. All right, next all movie. Next movie is Star Trek Into. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. I forgot all the stats for the one right before that because we've done. Oh you know, man, right. Oh, we have. You're we right. did. You know the year, and it was seventy. It was seventy-seven that New Hope came out. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think it's 80 or 81. That was my... I was thinking 80. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it's like 80 and 82, right? All right, so we're going to we're gonna play the months yeah, game. Yeah, go by the month. And a date, because and you guys... Day, yeah. uh, I'm going to say April 5th of 1980 is my guess. And we say... August 3rd, 1980. April 6th. 1980. Nice. Because you get because anything before then, that's you. Anything after, <laughs> I, I sh- I'm shooting the pocket. I'm going between Until August, August and April. Here we go. August. Yeah. Here we go. May 21st, May. 1980. That's you. So that is Will. Let's go, Will's buddy. Will's on the board. Nice. Wait, wait. April, yeah, May. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, it was August. You, yeah, June, you went July. the day over. Okay. You got so, it. Budget. That's a much needed point for What are you feeling? Will. What do you guys think about this one? Thanks for asking what we're feeling about the budget. Yeah. God, I don't think I would have spent that much, but I mean, it was a really good movie. So, yeah. And again, for its time, like probably pretty high People, special like, effects budget. You know, still highly argued it's Lawrence, best in the franchise. It's Lawrence Kasdan, yeah, mm-hmm. the writer. He wrote yes. the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, great. Movies. So he, John Williams, and Harrison Ford are like, let's do another one. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Why not? Why stop yeah. now when we could be everything? Okay. Uh, I wish you hadn't said that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, does not. Damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah. damn. Uh, Our budget. We're digressing too much. Yes, we are. I'm so sorry. I think that they spent it had to have been less than the Revenge of the Sith, right? I mean, yeah, like, yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm gonna say sixty million. That might even be high. I don't know. Oh, dude, no. So you said sixty million? Yeah. Fifty million. That how much did they spend on miniatures? They did have a lot for this. One. But you got to go back to nineteen eighties money. How do you? Fr- I mean, like freezing a guy in carbonite, like. That, oh, that don't really... try. You're just you're scared because you think my guess <laughs> is actually pretty good. He likes my guess. <laughs> Noah. I think it's forty-five million. All right, budget. Shit. Empire Strikes Back, nineteen eighty. Eight. What? Oh, yeah, you gotta yeah, go lower. Yeah, you gotta 18 go lower. Million. That's Noah. Eighteen million for Noah. Wow, there you go. good job. Opening weekend. See what I mean, though. <laughs> Opening weekend. Oh, oh. Eighteen million. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say fifty-five million. I don't know. Okay. I'll split the difference. Thirty-two 55? million. Fifty-five. Thirty-two, dude. I was way. I thought I was Opening way. Opening weekend. Yeah, seriously. Four Trick, billion. Back then, yeah. I, was, I said four. 18, and I was like, I should have gone so much lower. Four billion dollars for those. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> million. Four Will million. It made four Let's billion go. in the opening weekend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need to do a retraction. Four million dollars. So Will gets that clarifying. point. So this yeah. is a close. Does Joel? gross domestic have an asterisk here? No. No? Okay. okay. So I'm not going first. I'll go first. I'll say... It 45 might, million. It might have an asterisk. 45. It might have an asterisk? <laughs> I don't think it does. Oh, I should have oh, had review. Shoot. Okay. Gross domestic. You said 45 million? Yeah. Dude, 20 million. I don't think it does. 20 million. I think 45 million. He said 45. I said oh, 45. Sorry, 45 and one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Oh, you get it was a one dollar and you know it's gonna happen. Two hundred and ninety two million. This was by far the best movie. Two hundred and ninety two million. When you're doing like how is that even possible? Yeah, an opening weekend of four million. Okay, but like that's gotta be. An I feel asterisk. like we've done the. That is we've done a, a new hope before on this game. That's right? an unbelievable number. Like that is a very and it wasn't very high for the gross. So I'm thinking that people really liked it and then they didn't really care the opening weekend. So then, Joel gets that one. Yeah, because I by won a dollar. <laughs> Sorry, brutal. For, for the listener, it is two hundred ninety-two million seven hundred fifty-three thousand nine hundred sixty, which is. Roughly a shit ton higher than 18 million its original budget and 4 million, roughly 5 million opening weekend. Yeah, it's probably like 80 times more. Yeah. Than it made opening weekend. <laughs> so when we do our math, when we're taking our guesses, factoring in what might have caused the movie to cost as much as it does, and then like who goes to see the movie when it's out right. in the running time. One thing you, get you have to so, what's remember the back then, 1980, is um, opening weekend made them do very good. Right, but home video wasn't as popular. So if you wanted to see, and also movie it again, might have been had in the theater to, for two years. Right, it very well could have been. It could have been had, in the theater for two years. If you wanted to go see the movie oh, again, damn. Or if you wanted to see the movie, you had to go back to the to the box office. Yo, and it's no longer opening weekend, but it's still there. Okay. New, so, factor, new factor, new factor to put into all our guesses for all your guesses. So that means worldwide gross. Will's gonna go first. Asterix. So this is if you like take a into account release. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Take yeah. into account where Han Solo's original blaster prop is. A museum in England auctioned for a million dollars. Million dollars alone for one prop. You look at this whole movie. <laughs> That's not like I saw that on Pawn Stars. I'm not making that up. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't, th- I didn't think you were. I don't think anyone thought you were. Uh, a little bit, but no, I, I believe you. 600 million. Okay. That's, that's what I was probably going to go. With re-releases, I'm saying 850, 850 million. Nice, wow. That's a really good. Guess. That's bold. 600 and 850. Joel, where are you going? I'm gonna go. Seven twenty-five. Mm. Okay. Worldwide gross. Well, wow, I'm surprised. Five hundred and thirty-eight million dollars. All right, this is first time we've been two movies in and had a three-way tie for three. Oh, wow. wow, three points. This is the best Will's ever done. Yeah. In so, terms of... It's not the first time that we three-way tie. No, the, the no, first time right? Noah was on, you guys know, three-way right? Only there's five more questions, so we cannot tie. Yeah, no, you're right. All right, here we go. Let's see. Last Unless movie. Micah goofs again. Oh, but actually, yeah, the goof maybe caused the different... Anyways. Yeah, that's true. But here we go. The Force Awakens. Awakens. I'm going to guess $5 Ooh. on the budget. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks know, like I'm it's... Gonna guess, I'm going to guess a billion dollars on the budget. We're not the on the budget, budget yet. Opening weekend, I'm going to guess We're 500 not... million. <laughs> Gross domestic, it's getting lower. One million worldwide gross. I think they lost money. I think they paid the public five hundred million dollars in worldwide gross. Let's do opening. Let's do the opening date first. Shit, I forgot what year this came out. Yeah, I know. Was it twenty fifteen? Was it twenty fifteen? I remember. I think I might remember the day. We'll Go see. for it. Do it. Say it. Okay. And no, it's, it's got it. It is December. I think it's December twenty seventh. No, two thousand fifteen. December twenty first, twenty fifteen. It was a Shut straight. Up. It was a straight number. It was a straight number. What do you mean a straight what number? One mean? seven. You're. I think you're close. December twenty first. <laughs> December twenty first, twenty fifteen. That's my guess. You'll pick a straight number between one and nine, and we will fit it between our guesses. <laughs> That's a joke. There are no straight numbers between one and seven. That we would fit between two things. No, you can't. Okay. Mm. Anyways, uh, I am gonna go with. December 21st of that, 2014. Okay, so a year before me. Yeah. I'm wrong. 2014? Okay. Force Awakens. Oh, 16. 16. So it's Will. I thought it was for sure. Not a straight number. Like, 16. Not a straight number. 2015. No, the one, I remember there being a one, and it was in the tens place. Okay. Wow, that was. Budget. Okay. So you so went with 21? I thought, well, I didn't, <laughs> as, you know, blur, well, that was seven years ago, roughly. That's crazy. Like six, six, seven. Budget. Budget? 500 million. Really? What's your, 230 your guess? million is my guess. I mean, it's 500 million. Actually, I think 500, 500 I think million. 150 million. I bet it was ridiculous. I okay. think it was 260 this is the, million. Keep in mind, this is the first Star Wars movie in a while. And it was... Oh, actually, it wasn't bad. I the think. Best, but I was actually, it's only 10 years. And then Last Jedi sucked. The anyway. Previous. But still, for the advances Hollywood can make in terms of budgeting and technology... Yeah, but the how technology much got cost. better, it should hypothetically be cheaper. Here we go. Anyways. The budget. 
Answers? I said 150. 500. 280. 245 Let's go, million. Boys. Noah. 245 <laughs> million. Sniffing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Opening weekend. I still think, I still bet, like, if you watched it on a trailer. Opening weekend got, I, I went opening weekend. Like, I did, me too. Me yeah. too. I did. People I remember, were crying. Naively. I, what? Naively. Nothing. <laughs> I remember, uh, Joel, you and I were at dinner at Carlos Kelly's, and we were just hanging out talking, and they were like, oh, we should go. The new Star Wars movie came out. We should go see it. Yeah. And so we looked up tickets for like 10 o'clock. Okay, so a little bit. And we had just a few a few uh, seats please. left. <laughs> so we, we quickly gathered up as many people as we could. And we got some people. Yeah. We got some some seats. And we watched the movie. Hmm. Great movie. Okay, I sorry. The, I saw the ticket for some reason. Opening weekend. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. Uh, I'm not a ballpark. The, the game is very close right now. And I want my guesses to be good. But I don't know how to make a good guess for this. I'm going to guess 100 and... 80 million. Oh, that's that's a fantastic guess. For opening weekend, yeah. 180? Yeah. I'll say 190 million. Okay. I'll say 160 million. Mm. Opening weekend. Okay. 200. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. a bonkers <laughs> opening weekend. Will might have just pulled it off. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, in, they made back their money. for the tie. Here we go. Wait, they they made back their money plus 2 million yeah. for the listener. So opening weekend was 247 million. Three million. Basically. Almost 248 million. So, okay. Okay. Gross domestic. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine spending that much money and then having it come back to you in one weekend? And then and then some. I'm going to say f- I 560 million. Okay. Surely the drop off couldn't have been that like 500. You're you're saying that it doubled. It doubled but like but time times four time. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say, because oh, by then people have all the time in the world to say, like, this movie sucked ass, or, like, whatever. Yeah, all the all the, the original trilogy is still the best, even though they're only on sand for not, I don't know. Yeah, Prequel's right. the best, just saying. <laughs> I, I agree with you. All day. Unironically. Oh, all day. Okay, um, what did you say, Joel? You said 500? I said 560. 560? Oh, my gosh, I want to say 500. I'm going to go under. I'm going to say 500. Okay. I'm going to say 600 million. 500. Gross domestic. Oh, what? Oh, Noah, you Hold got on. that? Hold on, yeah. guys. 936 million. I didn't think that I know Endgame hit 2 billion, but I did not think oh my gosh, that Whoa. they would have almost had a billion domestic. This okay. is the closest so this is box what has is, ever been to being the, what interesting. What is the score? It is. Okay, so Joel has three. I cannot uh, win. He can't win. Will and Noah are tied with five. Wow. wow. This means that this point could the determine tiebreaker. everything, or if Joel gets it, it's tied. This is too Interesting. Tied. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. There is no asterisk for this one. Oh, my gosh. And right, for a fact. right. I'm just going to go ahead and go first since I already lost. I'm gonna just going to say $1.7 billion. Okay. $1.7 I don't know about that. No. They one, went, the one, previous movies went from oh, you're, $300 million to $800 million. $1.5 billion. Like, one point five two billion. Okay, I'll that's say. Your, that's your one point five two billion. One point four five billion. Oh wow! Worldwide for the all the marbles. Oh, two man. billion. Joel gets two it. Billion so me and Will tie. Joel oh and my Will tie. They get, can't so they gain over this. a billion. We can't keep doing this, boys. We can't keep doing this. We keep tying. With do you, do you want to do? <laughs> do you want to throw in a tiebreaker question for just Will and Noah or? A tiebreaker question that adds Joel to oh, the tie. And we said, I don't know what I can ask. <laughs> I don't want to be, be a part of another three-way tie. I don't know. Can. What can I, I, don't, I don't have like a budgetary question I can ask. Just ask any question. Just ask a random question. About the Star Wars yeah. universe? About Star Wars. You know a lot about Star Wars. Oh, yeah. About Star Wars. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shoot, you got to put me on the spot here. Is it going to be a first Come on, person? Come you, you were name dropping about Book of Boba Fett <laughs> earlier. Come okay. on, man. You got okay. this. All right. Uh, if it, Joel, you might remember this question, so... No, I'm not. I'm not answering. Okay. Okay. Not going okay. For perfect. I'll just a tiebreaker okay, okay, okay. here. Okay. Then, all right. A tiebreaker for Noah and Will. Oh, Noah's gonna get it. I haven't in seen in episode one. Well, Phantom that's my Menace. that's my territory. Okay. <laughs> I watched that movie in seventy episode times. Episode one. Of oh, Phantom I know what Menace, you're gonna ask. I think there is a pod racing scene. Yes. Very famous. Yeah. In that scene, they have to race through a specific canyon. What is the name of the canyon which they must race through? Son of a bitch. Blood Gulch. 
<laughs> See, actually, I don't think I think you need to ask a question that's answerable because oh, okay, because that was my, I didn't get my answer that, though. That was my. Oh, oh, you have it. Sand people nook. Pretty close now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Okay. Sand people. What, what is the answer to that? <laughs> it's, it's called Beggar's Canyon. Beggar's uh, Canyon. That was my next guess. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should ask the question okay. because no, because a... mine's more like pedestrian. Okay. Here, here's another <laughs> one. Here, this is this is very. This one might not go anywhere because you both might know it, and we can do another question. And how many parsecs? Twelve. Damn it. Twelve. Okay. Fuck. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. Man, okay. Joel, Joel, yeah, Joel, give, us a, Joel, Joel give us a question here. Give us something, Joel. We need a winner. Okay. Um, geez. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that I have. I'm not. I just don't know enough about Star Wars. I could ask about. Okay, okay fine. Um, Maybe uh, we'll know this one. I can ask this one. Is, it's so, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, it's, I so, it's so bad because I, if I had time to think about right. it, I could, I could do it. You should always have better. a tiebreaker. This but I, I, I guess I need to now. This is my fault. Because they keep adding this way. Yeah. I also don't, I don't know what you guys know and don't know collectively. And I can I, I'll really tell you this. I haven't seen – I've seen like the first maybe one or two seasons of the Clone Wars series. And I haven't gone into any of the animated series uh, past that. Okay. So okay. I and so Clone Wars would be out for me. If you asked a Clone Wars related question, I'd give it to Noah. So don't ask. Okay, me. I got a question. Okay. In a New Hope. Oh, you okay. never know this one. In a New Hope, episode four, C three PO has a leg that is a different color. Which leg is it? Oh shit. Oh, fifty fifty. This is great because yeah. so you gotta to pick win. right or left, and I gotta pick the opposite. I think it was the left one. Okay, I'm going right. It was the right leg. Oh, Will, Will with the yeah, dub. Will. This is my first win on Boggs, guys. Congratulations, Congratulations man. You earned that. Without a 50 50 split on legs, <laughs> I, I'm, going, I'm all for it, man. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'll try and have. That was the Star time. Wars equivalent of a coin toss right there. <laughs> that, yeah. I liked it. And you know what? It, there had to be a winner. We're not going to change the overtime rules. Gosh darn oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, like the Bills. Uh, <laughs> poor guys. I'm sorry. That was embarrassing. I felt like the knowledge, I couldn't, couldn't find a way to make it. Good, make it bad. And you're wearing a Chief hey, Star Wars did, crossover did, shirt. That's you did, awesome. You did just fine, Mike. You did all you could be asked. Yeah, That's awesome. I tried my best. Did you make that? No, my mom. My mama found it for me. She's like, really? That's yeah. such a weird crossover. It looks awesome, though. It's Definitely so unique. Great. It combines my two loves in life. There you go. Star Wars and Chiefs. Yep. Nothing else. Yep. Oh, my family. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because your mom got it for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It combines all three of those things. Yeah, those right, people, right, too. Right. Hey, that brings me to a really good question. Who do you think would win a fight? Oh, Spider-Man no. or Kylo Ren? Spider-Man. Sp- uh, Kylo Ren. Oh. He's got the force. He can crumple that guy. I think. Hey, Noah, you, you go first. Tell me why. Wait, we're, we're arguing this? Yes. No, yeah, I think... I, okay. I'm on your side, No, I think Kylo Ren would win. Yeah, I like Spider-Man better. It's not a question of who I like better, but Kylo Ren has the force. He doesn't even need to get that close. He could just choke him out. He can, he can do that freeze thing. Mm-hmm. He's got a lightsaber. I don't know. I, just, I think yeah. Kylo Ren would mop the don't floor. Don't you think that the spider sense would give him an ability to kind of like be agile enough to get away from that no how do you get away from the force with agility though he could just choke you no matter where you are yeah anywhere maybe well, See, I, think, I think if this was a long drawn out storyline a long drawn out plot it wasn't just like a it it so are we going this is just one battle yeah. they're meaning one battle yeah. or are we going this one is a done. whole story one and done Okay, well, I see what you're getting at, dying. though. Well, die. Story, I think Spider-Man can do it with enough time and preparation. Yep. Agreed. Well, it's not about the time preparation. It's the fact that Kylo Ren doesn't know who Kylo Ren is. That, so deep, he would bro. not be able to figure out... He would not be able to figure out who he, he needs was. to see that therapist sister from old. That's right. who he needs to see. <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> Damn. He's not, he's not seized Damn. out on him, though, before that happens. Well, I don't know. I, I, um, I think that... Because, because in a way, Sp- Spider-Man has his own force ability, has a spider senses, so he kind of can detect these sort of things. I think. I know, that- but how does it get help you if you get choked by the force? Like you can't, you can't like move okay. your way out of that. Okay, all right, you're being. Does choked. does Kylo does Kylo use that a lot? Well, he also uses the thing does. where he freezes people. He uses the freezing. Thing. You're right, but, but how, again, how do you evade that? Like, there's no way to evade that. If he does it, you're you're toast. Okay, well, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, for for Kylo, I don't think it's just that he can snap his fingers and whoever he's thinking about is just going to freeze that moment, right? It's a concentration, right? It's a focus. He has his mind. He's like Professor X from, or 
what's, what's his name? Dr. Xavier? Mm-hmm. Yeah, from, Professor X. Fr- yeah. yeah, from uh, X-Men when he, like, stops. He has to hold, like, he has to right. keep all of his concentration he, on that bullet. On that person, right? From, um, on the, yeah, and so... I'm I'm, th- I'm speaking from, like, X3 or, or yeah, whatever, whichever you, one it was. You're on the right, right train of thought where I'm going with it. And so with Spider-Man, he, he, he's quick, he's agile, he, he can move, he can spin, he can do things. Um, at, a, at a speed that I think would not make it impossible for Kylo Ren to catch him, but it would make it harder. And mm-hmm. I think Spider-Man's agility would be what would give him the one hand up on Kylo. Because if you watch Kylo, he's very sluggish. You know, he, he, he weighs a lightsaber around like it weighs 20,000 pounds. Yeah, because he's, he's got like the the Jedi equivalent of a of a heavy sword. Like, right. It's like a two, yeah. it's like in, in Skyrim, it would be a two handed yeah, sword. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, so, love that yeah. from a reference there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I I don't know. I I would probably side with Spider Man, um, because I just think that his powers are, well, he knows who he is, uh, he knows what he's fighting for, uh, and I think that, I think that his powers are a lot greater than, I, I like yeah. If we if we just if we if we did every force versus non force user down to a choke. Which I know I argued I argued the exact yeah. opposite point mm-hmm. when we were talking about Darth Vader and Vin Diesel or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, okay, all right. No, all I'm, right. I'm just Family. Saying, I'm just, you're right. You're a right, damn. Uh, damn. No, but I. But if we just chalked it up to that every time, yeah, okay, the Force users would win. If it if we took that out, if we took that aspect out, I I think that Spider Man would win that pretty easily. Well, yeah, again, but we can't just take that out. I, understand I know, that. but again, it's a concentration thing, and I think Spider Man would be all over him like a spider monkey. So much so that he couldn't get the time to focus. Just because he's being choked doesn't mean he can't use his webs. Also true. Also I mean, true. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying he could really actually. distract the hell out of him exactly. like, like doing yeah. that. Well, you had a point earlier. What was it? Well, couldn't Kylo Ren just like crush Spider Man with a mid sized sedan? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that just about wraps it up. Then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else can we say? Case in point, you're right. Let's drive this <laughs> podcast off in a mid-sized sedan. That's it. We're gonna hit the sunset. All right, guys. Everyone, let's let's, just, let's end on a damn. Let's yeah. end on a damn. All right. Three, uh, two, two, one. one. Damn. damn.